Hi, my name is Ken Lasterson. I'm going to go through and show you how you can find and hopefully use the new Flavor Lloyd's um, suggestions, recommendation, as well as how they connect up to everything. So as a starting point, you're at your sample pages. This is mine. I have a few samples um, about once a month because I want to actively monitor where I'm going. So you would go ahead and click advanced suggestions. You come up to usual screen, favorite noises check. So I just click show suggestions in new windows. It pops up with the list of items. Up at the top, by design, everything that's listed is listed by the term used in the PubMed study. I did that to be absolutely sure to be able to trace back a suggestion to the study and have the identical same word being used. Basically, it's to have everything be absolutely open, everything absolutely clear as to where I'm getting things. So I'm trying to avoid any interpretation or, well, this is just like that. Uh, I'm trying to be precise, perhaps problematically precise. For example, we have here, we have a um, polypropanol. Up here, we have um, those are flavonoids, another flavonoid. So we have a bunch of them already listed on the page as things you should take. Now, if you scroll down the page, you end up with things to skip, of course, we hit the probiotic mixture, which in this case spells out which ones I should use or don't use. If I wanted to say, okay, um, this one here has a very good rating. Oh, let's go and find out what it is. If I click here, it will take it over and we can see exactly what is in it. And we see that it basically consists of one bacterium um infotitis and that is the one that has a large amount of uh, positive impact on me you can see down below the specific bacteria that it's increase or decrease so that's where we end up getting for um the probiotics so you can find out which, what is actually in a probiotics you may be able to get the same thing in a different brand which is not listed and you also can see the impact now we have those with mixed impact again you want to have the highest possible value and avoid things with negative value we have a bunch of things with negative value saying okay don't i would not touch those because those are going to push things in the wrong direction and then we have no known impact um these are things which we have no clue if they are, will help or hurt my general advice is if you're taking any of them keep taking them um or you can even try to see what the reaction is for example miranitrium is something which i'm using right now because i'm using it as a oral probiotics drop the hard tablets in my mouth and just suck on them at bedtime and it has been doing some very positive things including improving sleep quality so i'm doing that nothing gut wise is there favorite food suggested is where things come down for example here i have nuts and almonds and i'm eating lots of almonds or equivalency for example um we have some uh what's the term mazepan mazepan is largely made from corn from almonds and a bit of um, sugar barley which i am having for breakfast every day coconut is the one thing i haven't added that flaxseed and nutmeg so all those are there down below we have actual favorite noise by name and with it we have additional information for example we have mass cell stabilizer showing up the this is the favoroids will help there. The food which may be in may be, be a either or. Um, this is one of the things that was mentioned up above. 
as a high value so i click there and i see what it what is in basically peppermint dry so peppermint is what i should be having there is nothing up above in the list of studies showing that impact of peppermint only uh just flavor oils guess what chances are adding lots of peppermint to the diet to the degree which i can, can tolerate it would probably be beneficial um other things like um this one which is nice and high we see where it is orange juice grapefruit juice uh again peppermint is number one choice so peppermint keeps showing itself up as being a really wonderful little substance and we have quince jam etc all marginal here we have zero which basically means that um it's less than one than two decimal points so it's a little small number and i'm rounding here to keep the um screen more readable and oh caffeine coffee 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 and then we have the vitamin d niacin which i'm really taking folic acid so i'm doing just about everything there except i need to start getting some fresh peppermint into my um, diet which is now on my to-do list okay so basically it is a another way of getting food suggestions but we, we are accessing on flavonoids we know what flavonoids will help we don't know the food now we can find the food easily and hopefully all of you will have as successful a time as the reader who recently posted here which is on the page here um basically she has a daughter five six years housebound her report came out with time as being the top of the list and you see the report down here thyme fresh coriander cinnamon those are the things which are suggested she went ahead with the suggestion um she has confidence that chances are it will do more good than harm following the suggestions and lo and behold it actually has delighted her um and she was shocked who who predicted these tiny leaves would do so much good and basically she's showing more energy and strength than she has for years put together so although this is a single case and we can't infer what happened for everybody it does illustrate that it will benefit some and all i'm proposing is i don't have a cure what i have is nothing but a list of things which have high probability of being helpful much higher than than picking something off the shelf or from a user group because all these suggestions are absolutely specific to your microbiome to your gut bacteria it is as customized and personalized as you can come okay that's it enjoy